there's been a conflict of interest with the attorney general's office for four years. This is nothing new. Josh and Sandy Greenberg were left blindsided at the start of the weekend. Around 3.30 Friday afternoon, they learned that after four years, the Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office referred the investigation into their daughter Ellen's death back to the Philadelphia District Attorney, citing an accusation of a conflict of interest. A spokesperson tells NBC10 while the Office of Attorney General does not have an actual conflict in this matter, circumstances beyond our control have created the appearance of a conflict. Why didn't they realize this at the beginning? Not now, after five, four or five years of our lives and tens of thousands of dollars trying to work with them. The AG's office, led by Josh Shapiro, the current Democratic nominee for governor, has long insisted evidence proves the 27-year-old died by suicide. She was found by her fiancé with 20 stab wounds inside their Maniunk apartment in January 2011. But the Greenbergs are convinced she was murdered, and they're currently suing the city's medical examiner with the hope of reopening the case. I've lost count of all the amount of monies and efforts and emotions that we've been working at to try to clear our daughter's name and get justice for Ellen Ray Greenberg. Though the case is now back in the hands of the DA, that office must refer it to another county since District Attorney Larry Krasner represented the Greenbergs in private practice before he took office in 2018. Why go to a county and what is going to be accomplished by having a county medical examiner and authority review our case? We're still working to get several questions answered. The first is, what is the nature of the alleged conflict of interest and who does it involve in the AG's office? We're also trying to figure out what the next steps are for the DA's referral to another county and how soon that could happen. We want to note that the AG's office released this information just before the end of the day Friday and has not yet returned our request for comment. However, we anticipate we'll learn more as early as tomorrow. In the newsroom, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News.